Hello, welcome to Crafting Kitty. My name is Erin and we're here for another tutorial. So today I am going to show you, <laughs> I misplaced what I was going to show you. Oh, this is starting off well. Here we go. I'm going to show you how to make a simple, basic, zippered, lined, pouch. So just a standard little zipper pouch. This is using a seven inches. So, and as you can hear, I have a little helper in the background who wanted to join mommy in the craft room. So, here we go. Zippered pouch. Let's go. What are you going to need for this? You are going to need um, fabric. So you'll need, I've already pre-cut this one. So I'm going to reverse the fabrics for this. This will be the interior for this pouch we're making now and my exterior fabric. You will need said zipper to make a zipper pouch. You will need some form of ruler. I am going to use my handy dandy quilting square ruler. You will need scissors of some type. Either will work. Again, I am going to use my handed dandy rotary cutter with my self-healing mat. This combination, quilting ruler, rotary cutter, self-healing mat, phenomenal if you're a sewist. And you'll need a scissors. This you'll need either to cut your fabric if you're going to do snip snip way and I'll also need it to trim my threads and you will need your sewing machine um you could do this by hand there's nothing stopping you I will show you how to do it with the sewing machine oh der, you will also need for your sewing machine you will need two different feet the zipper foot and the standard presser foot you can do it all with the standard foot. If you have a zipper foot, it will be much easier. Okay, let us begin. What we need to start with is our fabric. We need, um, for the interior, we'll need two squares, well, the rectangles technically, um, of fabric. For this size pouch, I'm going to do eight and a half wide by seven inches tall so my, there you go eight and a half wide by seven inches tall and we'll do that for both the interior pieces and the exterior pieces so i will show you what we want to do oh one thing i didn't mention if you have it and want to use it pinking shears are also handy tool to have when sewing in general bags in particular okay so what we're gonna want to do is um cut our fabric we need to use our handy dandy cutter or handy dandy quilting ruler and we want it to be oh, so machine is, oh no it popped off uh slightly in the way here so scooch that out of the way we need, that's the half inch mark. Okay, so we want it. I'm so paranoid now about doing it wrong like I did the last time and inverting my measurements. So we want to do this because we want it eight and a half by seven. And what I'm going to do, since this is the exterior, we're going to make it all nice. So you can see I've gone up to the seven, eight and a half, one, two, three. Oh, I'm off. No, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is a half inch. So this is one of those rulers that has a half inch on for a seam allowance already. But if you're not careful, you can get messed up. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven by eight and a half. We just do our zoop and our zoop. Okay, 
And now you'll say, but Aaron. Yep, you need to cut that off. So we're just gonna make sure we're square here for trimming our selvage. This unused kind of undyed portion on the side of a fabric is called selvage. And I mean, if you wanna get precise, you can measure it and kind of use that as your seam allowance. Ooh, my fabric ran away. But I'm not gonna get into that today. And since it's the exterior, if I was using this color for the interior of the bag, I would have just included the selvage in my measurements and <laughs> gone with it because you're not really going to see it. Um, but since it's the, this is the exterior fabric, I'm going to be a little more, yeah, you know, just a, a little more nicer with it. Okay, so yes, let's count it, make sure we got it right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and a half. One, two, three, four. Seven. I realize this haven't just printed there, but I'm still just counting out loud for tutorial purposes. And then Oh, come on. <laughs> Sorry, my ruler slipped. Oh, that's annoying. It'll be fine though. It's didn't slip beyond the half inch seam allowance that I am using. So we will be just fine. I don't want to be on the half inch. Seven. What? How did it end up so unsquare there? We're going to retrim this. Oh, that's fine. That is well within deviation. Okay. Trim off our selvage and move on. Okay. Discard. Well, don't discard. I can really, I can use that. No problem. So we've got our fabric for that. We've got our fabric for that. Okay. So for this one, since this is going to be gifted away, I am going to press my fabric. So I will be right back with freshly pressed. Okay, and we are back. And so we are sewing a zipper bag. Um, <laughs> oh, I'm totally out of frame here. Okay, here we go. I'm going to put my zipper foot onto my sewing machine because that's what we're going to start with. So your sewing machine, every sewing machine is probably a little bit different. Mine has a little lever behind. Oh, you can't even see that. So this is my thingy. That's where you attach the foot. There's a little lever back here that opens a clasp thingy that holds your foot in place. So that is what you're going to do. Put your zipper foot in. Now we're going to turn on the sewing machine so we don't hit the pedal and go, why isn't it working? We have zipper. We have our inner fabric and we have our outer fabric and why do i have the outer fabric in two different directions i don't know okay i don't know why i pulled that there we don't need that right now we need an outer fabric so you're going to put your outer fabric flat right side up so right side is the pattern side the side you want out wrong side is off camera the wrong side, it's the back side, is what you don't want showing in the end. So you're going to get your fabric, you're going to take your zipper, you're going to place it face down, kind of at the edge of your fabric. Um, you Seam allowances hide a lot of sins in bags, so you don't have to worry about total preciseness. Then we're going to take what we want for our liner and we're going to take that and put it right side down. Now, unfortunately, I have a batik here, which really both sides look pretty nice. So you might not be able to tell, but you want right side down. We want to sandwich the zipper in between the two. So we've got a little sandwich going on. So. Now we're going to see how many times I can say so and pull myself off of camera while I'm doing this. 
Um, what we have here is, actually maybe I should explain a little bit about the zipper foot. Um, the zipper foot is like half of a normal foot. And what it means, so this is a normal standard foot, presser foot. This is a zipper presser foot. And presser foot just means it's what presses down when you're sewing. It's got half of it. So it means you can get this lined up. And there's actually a little notch here, if you can see it. So you can get up nice and close to the zipper for a nice top stitch. You can use a standard foot. It is fine. You just won't be able to get quite as close. But a zipper foot is very helpful. And so you can line it up on either side. You see there's a little thing there. You can line it up on this side or on this side. You can switch it around depending on what side of the fabric you're using. I'm going to set it up so the left side is in because I can manage, because it's a small bag, everything will work there. Work from that side. Okay, make sure it's in there. It is. We are going to take our bag. We are going to slide it in there and you're going to get it in and put your presser foot down. And a lot of this is going to be trimmed and hidden so you don't have to be too too worried about what this looks like. But hold everything so it's pretty equal. When you start a sewing machine you want to make sure the threads, kind of the feed threads there, you hold on to them so they don't get sucked into your machine and cause mayhem. So hold everything, start a couple of stitches, do a back stitch, and then we're going to sew. I'm going to go about halfway and stop. Um, I will silence the video so you don't have to listen to my machine groan on. Okay, and why I stop about halfway? You're going to need to move the zipper head because if it's at this point, it's going. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> it's going to get in your way of your zipper foot. So you want to push the zipper, and it doesn't want to work because it's upside down, and I'm doing it wrong. You're probably going to have to release your presser foot. Just try to hold everything in place nicely. And keep unzipping in an awkward fashion until you get the head to the other side. Now, you're going to line everything back up nicely. You're going to put your foot back down and you're going to complete your sewing until you get to the end. So I will meet you there. Okay, so you're going to do your back stitch. You can go forward again, pull it out, snip, you're going to trim these threads off, oops, and trim that too. Okay, so you've got this, and now what you've done is you've sandwiched the zipper here, you see, so you'll have a nice finished fold there. Oh, I'm holding it off. Okay, so you've sandwiched the zipper in between. So when you open it up, look, we have a zipper. We have a zipper. Okay, so you're going to do just about the same thing, except the other way. We are going to put our outer fabric face up. We are going to lay our zipper down. We are going to take our other outer fabric, put it upside down because we want our we want our right side facing down. We're going to just pick it up. Again, you can just eyeball this. It's not going to need to be super duper extra precise. And again, I'm holding off the camera. Dear Lord. Okay. We're going to sandwich it all together and we're going to stick it back into our machine. And once we get it all nice, stick it back into our machine, slip it down there. Again, we kind of want to line it up so the zipper ends up by that indent I was talking about earlier. 
do that. Hold our feed threads so it doesn't get sucked into the machine. And I will meet you at the halfway point. Okay, halfway point. We are going to once again find our zipper. We're going to move it. I find often when I'm working from this side, maybe I don't have to lift the foot, but no, I'm going to have to lift the foot. Of course, when you say something like that, that's when it doesn't work. Okay, zipper, unzipper that. Get that all lined back up. Okay, so here's the thing. I've moved this quite a bit, so that's actually probably a good thing. What you want to do is basically slip it back in so your top thread is just kind of straight and pointing down. Then you know you're just got it back to where you were. Okay, we begin again. Why do I have that stuck there? Oh, I had a super long feed thread. Okay, and we continue to the end. Trim that, get it off of there, trim, where are you other thread? There you are. Okay. Trim these other threads you have from there. Do that. Okay. And then because this is going to be a giveaway item, I am going to press it nicely. So what we're going to try to do here is press this down all nice and pretty. So it's nice and pressed for doing our next section and it ends up with a nice, I'm sorry, I'm holding it off camera so much. Ah, like I said before, I'm trying this to try out this new camera. Um, not camera. This is my phone I'm using. It's a new stand. <laughs> okay, so basically we want to press here because we're going to come back and do a top stitch along there and it just just makes everything look nice and finished. So one thing to note when you're using a plastic zipper like this, I'm not going to show myself ironing, but just like with our acrylic yarns, irons will melt that. So you have to be careful when you're ironing that you don't iron the plastic zipper teeth. And if you're using pins with plastic heads, be sure you don't iron the pin. I know in this one, I'm not using pins, so it doesn't matter. And I'm sure people are cringing going, why is she not pinning? She's a crazy woman. Okay, we have nicely pressed sides. And now we're just going to run this through the machine on each side, putting a top stitch that's just a stitch as close to the edge there of the fabric as you can get. And that just keeps it nice, makes it look good. So I'm gonna leave the zipper foot on so I can get nice and tight to that spot. And here we go. So again, you want to put your foot down. You want to start it. Reverse for a couple stitches. So start first up with stitches. Go about three. Reverse for about three. And then just keep going. Do the same at the end. And I will meet you when I'm done with my top stitching. Okay, so I've got my top stitching completed, and what I'm going to want to do here is unzip the zipper so it's open, and that will help us in our next steps. So, you want to pick... Actually, let's do the outer first. So, you're going to take your two outer fabrics, put them right side facing. What we're going to do is line them all up. You're gonna sew all the way along all three sides. Obviously, we've already done the zipper side, skip the zipper. You wanna do all three sides fully of your outer fabric. 
And so, okay, you know what? Actually, I've missed both. You can do this full side and this full side. Make sure you do this full side here, okay? And I will meet you when we get to the bottom of the inner, the lining fabric. And what you want to do with the zipper in there is just make sure you have it folded the same way. So you want to fold the zipper upon itself. Um, to me, it's easiest if you have the, um, the uh, seam allowance here facing the same direction. So let's take this in here. I will meet you at the end, unless there's anything else. Oh, <laughs> anything else at this point. I mean, you could keep using your zipper foot if you want to. I'm switching out for my standard foot. I am using, when I gave you the measurements, I left a half inch seam allowance. So that's what I will be sewing to. So attach your foot, put your thread. I like the thread off to that side. It's easier for me, but some people like that side. Personal preference, that's all it is. Okay, so. Get everything all lined up. Stick it in. That's my half inch mark. And I am going to begin sewing. Okay, I'm stopping here. I'm going to let you know my zipper head is in the way. So I'm going to move my zipper head up a little bit and then keep going. Okay, we've got our three sides sewn. So on this side, the bottom side of the outer, this side. The bottom side of the inner we've left open. What we want to do there is, first I'm gonna trim that and trim this. Oh, we got sewn in there. So trim that, clip that, we're good to go. We're going to leave a goodly chunk here to turn the bag inside out when we're done. So, sew about a third, leave a third, sew a third. And we want to do this on the inner because I'm going to show you the cheater trick that just works best for me. Okay, when you get to your third mark, do your reverse. Go forward. You want to make sure that is a nice and sturdy spot because you're going to be pulling at it. Look through. Okay. We're going to restart. Remember, go three, reverse three, and then finish. Go back all over everything. So you want to go over that spot three times to make sure it's nice and reinforced. That last one, I didn't reinforce the end. It's okay. We're going to clip it anyway. Okay. 
So you want to clip your excess there and then trim that off there. Okay, now here's something you want to do if you want nice pointed corners. Go ahead and clip across your corners like this. Can you see that? So you see your little cross, just cut that like that. Do that to all four corners. That just removes excess fabric that would bulk up your corners when you turn it out. Now, to further remove excess fabric, I'm gonna go ahead and trim all of this with my pinking shear. When I get to this part, I'm gonna be just careful to make sure my line stays straight. Try to make sure I'm on camera for this. So just try to go down the middle. Do your best. And if you don't have pinking shears, don't worry, you can just trim this with a normal scissors. The pinking shears are supposed to keep the fabric from fraying. This is going to be encased, so that's not really a big deal, but in my theory, it's I've bought a fancy tool. I best use said fancy tool. You can't even see what I'm doing. I'm clipping. Okay, here I'm getting to the zipper. I'm going to clip through it if I can. If not, I'm going to just let it be. And it's not wanting to clip. So I'm just going to let that be. So now what you want to do, throw away all your pieces. You are going to stick your fingers through this little hole we made and pull everything back through it. So kind of grab that with your pinch, kind of pinch it. Taco, 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 feed me. Okay, so if you're done playing with it, you're going to just yank it through. And say, oh, look at how pretty that is. Oh, so pretty. Okay, so now you've got this. And this is why you wanted the zipper open as much as you could. Because then you wouldn't be fighting with the zipper end at this point. Okay, so now you'll say, but Aaron, we have both ends pointing out. What do we do? We don't panic. We deal with this first. So stick your fingers in there. Kind of poke out your corners a little bit. We're really going to have to do this again so you don't have to be too worried. Okay, you're going to eyeball this. Don't panic. Pull it kind of taut. Your fabric will fold on itself. You see how that happened? We are going to top stitch as close as we can to the edge over the opening. This is my cheater trick to use a sewing machine to do this. Otherwise, you can get fancy and do like invisible hand sewing. Ain't nobody got time for that. So do it this way. Pinch it. It'll fold on itself. Stick it in your machine. Yes, if you're doing this for selling, you probably want to do the nice hand stitching. Bridget is probably having a heart attack right now if she's watching this. Um... But yeah, just go, put it in, do your back stitching, sew it across. And I kind of keep my finger where the end of my opening is. Back stitch, front stitch, pull her out. Don't grab your pinking shears for this. Grab your normal scissors. 
trim your yarn, not your yarn, your thread. Oh dear. Okay, so now we don't need this anymore. We're gonna poke our middle back through. We are going to use our fingers here, and this is fiddly. And I actually have, <gasps> where's my purple thing? Where's my purple thing? Oh, I don't know. My purple thing, literally purple thing. If you are a sewer, this is worth it. We're gonna use our pointy end. We're gonna get in there and it's going to help us poke out our corners. And I'm gonna do this all <laughs> on camera as best as I can. So I've got my finger in there and I've also got my pointer. There we go. There we go. So because it's a lined bag, you can't get right at that. But you can do the best you can do. There you go. And now we're going to do the other sides. Now we're going to try to remember to keep it on camera. So first I'm sticking my hand in and I'm using my finger to poke it out as much as I can. And then I'm pushing this forward to jam the corner. And because we've removed the excess fabric, it'll get a little nicer. I pulled it close to myself again. I am sorry. Here we are going to pop that out. We're going to use our purple thing. Get all up in there. You don't want to press too hard. You can split the fabric with that. I'm going to kind of do the same thing here. Do that. And voila, you have a zipper pouch. Now, to be super nice and fancy, I'm actually going to put this over here so I don't panic again yelling, where's my purple thing? You can iron this and make it all pretty. I mean, in theory, okay, so what you'll see on the inside, you can kind of see where we did our stitching, but it's on the inside. And really who's like, whoa, look at what's in the bottom of my notions bag. <sighs> so here you go, congratulations. You have made it through yet another Crafting Kitty tutorial. <laughs> and you can make yourself a zipper pouch. Have a wonderful day, have a wonderful week. I will see you all later. Bye-bye.